Hi guys, Trev, Body McCann from Axel Fitness. So this rehab program is kind of specifically targeted to one of my clients, um, but anybody can use it. Purpose being, um, the client does a lot of fishing and basically he's, he's created his own adaptations, postural adaptations, which are now causing them problems. So this is all designed to try and correct them. So one of the issues is he's got, he's got misfire and glutes, so his hamstrings are working over time. So we're gonna try and correct that so that we get his glutes back firing as they should, which will take away a lot of his problems. However, what he's also got is slight scoliotic of the spine going from left to right. He's also got rounding of the shoulders and he's also got what we call chin poke. So the program is going to be designed to correct that. First exercise, and this one has to be done as often as you can whilst driving the car or sat watching the telly. It's what we call abdominal bracing. So, where your hip bones are, if you just drop your thumbs in there, so you can feel it, and all I want you to do is contract your pelvic floor as though you're stopping yourself going to the toilet, and you'll feel it all tighten up across here, and that's your transverse abdominis, one of your main postural muscles. Get control of that again, and that starts to stabilise the whole area to start with. So, purpose being is you put it on about 10% power, so you're not trying to crack it on, 10% power, and you should be able to hold a conversation while that's going on. So that's one exercise, all right, as often as you can. Do it when you're sat watching the telly, do it when you're driving. I want you to couple this exercise to it as well, which is for the uh, chin poke. And the idea being is when I'm in the car and I've got my abdominal brace on, what I also want to do is open the sternum up from the belly button. So I'm lifting my sternum away. Straight away, it retracts my scapulas where they should be should put my head back in that position. Keeping the chin tucked in with my head against the backrest of the car, so I can do this when I'm driving, but only when I'm running in a straight line. Yeah, push back, so I lift my body off the, the backrest of the seat to start to strengthen these muscles back up in the way they should be with the head in a neutral position. So I can do that as often as possible while I'm driving, okay? Great exercise to do that. third exercise we're looking at is the scapular retraction um, basically what I was talking about opening the belly button and the sternum up so when you stand and you slouch over you close that gap so what I want you to do is lift the chest up alright so we're opening that gap up the moment I lift the chest up my scapulas go back where they should be again straight away you'll feel unnatural because the muscles in the back are now working but that's what they've got to do and we've got to again do this as often as we can while we're walking around we need to think about lifting the chest away from the the belly button and try and walk like that make the muscles work as they should so that's the next exercise and do that as often as you can as much as you can think about the next exercise we're going to look at is stretching of the chest okay so using a door jam, I'm using my frame as an example of the door jam, but imagine this is a door, door frame here, door jam, arm up, shoulder height, and all we're going to do is push through. So I stretch right across the chest. I'm going to hold that on for about 10 seconds. Really feel the stretch. And then obviously I turn around and do it the other way, on the other side. Purpose of this being, because we're becoming rounded in the shoulder, these muscles are all becoming dominant, pulling us around. And they're stretching out the muscles in the back. We want to try and strengthen them back up with like our scapular retraction and that. Um, and another exercise which I'll show you. But we need to stretch these out. So that's a must. Do that as often as you can. Every time you pass a door jam, just have a little stretch. 10 seconds, do the other one, 10 seconds. Not a lot to do there. Okay, nice and easy. The next exercise I want is a, a tennis ball or something like that because the glutes can become tight um, which can give you back pains as well. It's a cracking exercise this and all you've got to do is lie on the floor, put the ball in the glute just below the hip bone, put that into the glute there, the side that you've got it on keep the legs straight, push up through the other side keeping your body down and just roll your hips backwards and forwards on it. If it's painful, it's because there's dysfunction in that muscle. By keeping that muscle loose, yeah, it makes takes away a lot of back pains that you could experience from it. Okay, 
So I'll do that one twice a day. So the next exercise is specifically to target the thoracic uh, erector spinae area. Okay, so because the spine is curving from left to right, the muscle on the right hand side of it is tight. The muscle on the left hand side of it where you're getting a lot of your pain is taut. So we're going to stretch out that tight muscle but at the same time we're going to work the muscle in the lower back on the right hand side to help pull the spine back where it should be because it's deviating over we need to strengthen that up. Okay, So all we're going to do from there, feet shoulder width apart, legs just knees slightly unlocked, Okay, open the chest up right hand up into the air, you're going to lean it over to the side till you can't lean anymore and then come slightly forward till you feel that upper back stretching. Okay, and once you've done that and you can feel the upper back stretching, all I want you to do is bring your body back upright with that arm still there and then go again. Stretch that upper back, notice I've rotated round, yeah stretch the upper back, come back up. Okay, so you're going to do 10 of them. So what we've got there is a stretch of the upper thoracic region here and we've got a strengthening when we're pulling back of this region here. Okay, so you're going to do 10 reps of that on that side only. Next exercise I want you to do is a hip hike and a shoulder hike. Okay, so the idea being is I'm trying to lift without taking my feet off, if I'm pushing my hip out, my right hip out to the side slightly but lifting at the same time. Yes, yeah, so I'm squeezing the lift and what I can do is I can feel that muscle there as I do it working, I'm squeezing it in and feel that muscle really working. Okay, and then at the same time as I'm doing that I'm lifting the shoulder up at the same time. Yeah, and what I'm doing now is I'm working the muscles down the left hand side of my back. So as I lift it up, pushing that hip out that way, squeezing there, yeah, and then lifting that shoulder, I'm getting some muscle work on this side. Okay, so that's strengthening the side that's being lengthened, generally causing you the, the discomfort. And we're also strengthening the muscle on the opposite side in the lower lumbar to help hold the spine back in place to hopefully start the work the process of straightening it up. Now the last exercise is laid on the floor again. Because our glutes aren't working as they should, we're going to adopt this position, so feet flat on the floor, knees bent, as though you're in a sit up position, but we're not doing a sit up. We're going to lie flat on the floor with your arms by your sides. Now the first thing I want you to do is that abdominal brace, so you feel that transverse abdominus engage. The moment you do that, your glutes have actually engaged as well. If you're trying to stop yourself going to the toilet, yeah, you make that pelvic floor engage, abs, transverse abdominis engages, the glutes will also engage. Once those glutes have engaged, all you're going to do is raise the hips up off the floor and then lower them back down, keep that abdominal brace on till everything's down, then relax. Abdominal brace on, raise the hips up and then lower it down, keeping that abdominal brace on and then relax. So we're going to do 10 of them and what we're trying to do there is re-educate that the glutes maximus is firing first rather than the hamstrings and by putting the abdominal brace on and squeezing as though you're trying to nip a pound coin between your buttocks, yeah, you feel the transverse engage, you feel your glutes engage, once they've engaged then we raise up and then we lower down keeping all that on and it's only when we're fully down the floor do I let that relax. And then I go again. Okay. So that's the program. If I haven't said do it often like the ones in the car, they are twice a day and do 10 reps. All right. Give it a bash.